Hello? Emily? Hi, Amy? Good evening. Oh, welcome. Hello? Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? How's everything? Hi, thanks. Good are evening, you? teacher. Good evening. How are you? Everything good? Everything good. Yeah. All right. We're going to begin. Right now I have 21, 21 participants. Thank you for joining everybody. We're going to begin. This is session number two. Well, I want to know. Bueno, quiero saber si estamos bien con la forma. Hemos empezado a practicar. ¿Estamos bien en ese momento? No hemos oído ningún inconveniente. ¿Hemos tenido problemas? ¿No? Apenas hemos iniciado. Ya estamos iniciando. ¿Me escuchan? ¿Me escuchan? Okay. Recuerden, si, si tenemos algún problema con la plataforma, háganmelo saber, ¿ok? Recuerden, como dije ayer, podemos practicar, bueno, podemos desarrollar los, los ejercicios o las secciones de la plataforma. Si tenemos algún problema con algún ejercicio, um, bueno, practican, si digamos, obtuvimos dos, una o dos respuestas malas, Recuerden que podemos practicar nuevamente, para hacerlo e intentar, ¿ok? Se puede, pueden hacerlo, cuanto se quieran. El propósito es obtener las respuestas correctas y lo más importante que ustedes practiquen y vayan mejorando. No se preocupen por eso, pueden ir con el meter, el panel test, para editar, lo podemos repetir. Vamos a errores, vamos a repetir. La idea es que vayamos, hoy en este momento, practicando y mejorando. Bien. Si alguien tiene algún problema, uh, intentamos nuevamente, intentamos unas dos o tres veces, por ejemplo, vemos que lo mismo, los mismos errores, no, nos, no, la, tomo, no la tomo como buena y nos estamos seguros de que está bien. Háganmelo saber, se me mandan texturas de pantallas. Para yo verificar primero y si todo está en orden y el problema ya es el de la plataforma, pues se le hace saber al encargado en ese caso de, de, de operativo de que la plataforma tiene un error. Por eso hago la pregunta ahorita que iniciamos, si todo está bien, si hemos empezado a trabajar en la plataforma y no hemos tenido ningún problema, si alguien quería confirmar, todo está bien. Todo bien, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Todo bien, teacher. Thank you. Okay, right now I have 25. Hi. Perdón. Okay. Okay. It's okay. All right. Bueno, recuerden, vamos a mantener la cámara encendida. Oh. Y en un momento, bueno, cuando estén los demás, así, me falta, bueno, vamos a continuar, pero en un momento vamos a tomar la captura de pantalla. Así que, ya sé, así es que, oh, welcome everybody, good evening one more time, thank you for joining, this is session number two, we're going to begin. How are you guys? Tell me, how is everything? Are you okay? Are you happy? A little, yes, a little hard, but, but nice. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your time, too. I know that it is worthy. Because su tiempo es valioso. Okay, let's begin. Let me display my screen. 
All right. Can everybody see the presentation? Yeah, you can see. Thank you. Can you? Yes. Vamos a ver toda la presentación. Yes, teacher. Yes, Thank you. All right. Let's begin. This is well. Today is Thursday, March twenty fifth, twenty twenty one. This is session number two. The topic for today is the future with be going to a conversation. Happy birthday. All right, that is the topic. The future with be going to a conversation. Happy birthday. Okay. Moving on. Next begin. That will be the main the main focus. We will use be going to. Be going to or future. Okay. Let's go. This is the future we'll be going to. When do we use be going to? Be going to is used to express future plans and intentions. Right? That is a use. We use be going to learn to express future plans and intentions. Estamos be going to para planes a futuro okay? o intenciones. That is the use. Be going to is an auxiliary. Okay? And we use it in sentences and questions. What is the way we use it? That is the way we use it. Sorry. Let's go. We have affirmative form. That is the first form. That is the first form. Affirmative form. The structure that we follow is following. The subject, by the verb be, of the auxiliary, which is going to, the verb, the verb, this is the main verb, and the verb is the base form. And then we have a complement. That is for the affirmative form. And we want to express future plans or intentions. What can be an example? Let's see how we structure the sentences in affirmative form. For example, I am going to celebrate my birthday next week. I am going to celebrate my birthday next week. How can we identify the parts? Parts of the speech. Simple. What is the subject? I. The subject is I. Subject. I. What is the verb be? The verb be is. M. M. Yes. M. What is the, well, we have the auxiliary, going to, it's an auxiliary. Going to. Then we have the verb, what is the verb? The verb is? Celebrate. Celebrate. Celebrate, exactly, celebrate. And at the end we have a compliment, what is a compliment? My birthday next week. My birthday next week. Inspiration. Okay. But again? In, in this case, include the inspiration, right? The complement. Exactly, exactly. So when we use be going to, the future simple, we use some expressions. Thanks. Your class was said. Some expressions. The time expression in this case is next week. Next okay. week. Exactly. Okay, that is the first example. We can use contractions. Contractions at the beginning, talking about the subject, the verb be. Vamos a utilizar contracciones. For example, I am, you can say, I'm. I'm, um. I'm going to celebrate my birthday next week. Or I am going to celebrate my birthday next week. 
So it depends. You can just go factors, right? Uh, well, Karen Renata, tell me. Teacher, uh, can you say I am going to celebrate my birthday uh, in, in, in March 25? On March 25? On March. Yes, it's in for it's, it's in for sure future, but okay. is it, it can you choose in in March twenty six? It depends. It depends. Oh. If you say I'm going to celebrate my birthday, my birthday in March, you can say it. But if you want to say the date, as we saw it the last class yesterday, you can say I am going to. Celebrate my birthday on March twenty uh, fifth. Depends. Remember, as we saw last session, when we use just the month, we use in, and if we want to use the date, you say on. But both are correct. Ambas son correctas. La diferencia es que en uno utilizamos solo el mes, que está in, y en la otra utilizamos el mes y, el, y el, la fecha. Mark, then it fits. Yes, but both are correct. Thanks. You're welcome. Another example, affirmative four. We we'll have two. He is going to travel to Rotan next Friday. He is going to travel to Rotan next Friday. That is another plan. That is another future plan. Probably we have plans for next week, right? Because it's almost vacation. Ready? Ready for vacation? Yes, ready. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Well, probably we have some future plans. You can tell me, well, you know, Teacher, I'm going to travel to Rotan next Tuesday. Okay, what's the future plan? He is going to travel to Rotan next Friday. Jose Carlos Parientos, sure, come here. Have a question? Is that correct uh, if I say, I am going to study my lesson tomorrow. Yeah, it is. It is because okay. that is an in, that is an intention. We can use okay. be going to for intentions. Intentions true. Okay. I am going to study my lesson tomorrow. Yes. Very good. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, okay. And another another time expression. Talking about some expressions is next Friday, for example. You can say tomorrow. These are some expressions for future. Okay. We have another example. Kyla is going to visit her parents tomorrow. Kyla is going to visit her parents tomorrow. That is another future plan. Or, in this case, it could be an intention, an intention, right? We can use contractions, like I said before. The contraction for he is, is, he is, he is, he is. He is going to travel to Rotan next Friday, okay? The other one, Kyla, is going to visit her parents tomorrow. As if, if we analyze, if we analyze the sentences, for example, number two, he is going to travel to Rotan next Friday. What is the subject? Let's go with the structure. What is the subject? Kyla. What is the subject? Kyla. Oh. Kyla. 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 Okay, Kyla. Yeah, exactly. What is the verb? What is the verb? Is. Is. Yes. What is the itinerary? Going to. Going to. Going to. Going to. What is the verb? Visit. 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 And the verb, that verb is in base form. The verb is in base form. 
visits, yes. And what is the complement? Her parents. Parents. Her parents tomorrow. Her parents tomorrow. Her parents tomorrow. Good. Thank you. All right. Questions about this? I want this is a moment. Sure. Yes. Mm. For plants, I, I can use, but I, I can don't put the training expression. For example, uh, I'm going to do homework in vacation. Is is correct? Well, you, when you actually when you say in vacation, that is a thumb expression because you're using in vacation. Well, it's necessary. Uh, I use uh, a turn expression. No, you can you can omit it. You can omit it. I am going to travel to Japan. We can say just like this, and it is understandable okay. because we know that we're using future that is going to. It's a plan. Uh, probably if you, if you don't use a time expression, it's because you are not sure about the day. Okay, or if you're not sure about the, the day or the specific day, you can say, I'm going to travel to Japan. Um, let's say soon. That is another one. Soon. We use soon, and soon is another time expression that determines that we use in future. Soon. So you don't know, or you're not sure, when are you going to travel? It could be next week, could be next month, next August, next year. Say so, it's because you, you have that plan, but you're not sure when. Cuando utilizamos soon, es como decir, bueno, pronto, no soy muy seguro. Seguro de la fecha, pero si tengo ese, ese plan a futuro. Well, questions? But right now, I have every, everybody in the meeting. Just give me a second. I, I'm going to pass attendance quickly. Please, once you listen to your name, stay present. Here we go. Alberto Espinosa. Alberto Espinosa. Hmm, okay. Well, I think out. Well, okay. Ana Garcia. Ana Francisca Garcia, sorry. Yes, okay, thank you. Ana uh, Vicky Garcia. Vamos a pasar la asistencia ahorita, ok? Once you listen to your name, stay present. Present. Thank you, thank you. Ana Vicky Garcia. Ana Vicky Garcia. Sí. Okay, she's still here, I think. Let's continue. Astrid Diaz. Yes. Present. Thank you. Astrid Muñoz. Present. Thanks. Bessie Avalos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Bessie Flores. Present, teacher. Teacher, solo un comentario. Ana Vicky dijo que ahora iba a estar en el evento. Y oh, se iba a exactly, conectar y desconectar. Exactly. Ajá. Exactly. Pero ahí estaba al inicio, yo la vi. Sí, ahorita acabo de ver. De ver. No, 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 había, no había notado. Sí. Estaba ahí. Sí. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Thanks. Ok, thanks, teacher. Well, Cesar Martinez. Cesar Martinez. Okay, it's not here. Oh yeah, Cesar Martinez. Present, you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you, thank you. Cesar Ariola. Present. Thank you. Claudia Ramos. Present. Thank you. Dalida Galicia. Present, teacher. Delmi Peña. Present. Thanks. Ernesto Garcia. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Sea. Present teacher. Thanks. Elson Elia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Lina Linares. Present teacher. Thank you. Liliana Alvarado. Present teacher. Thanks. Ivan Patrice. Present. Thanks. Okay, let's go with Jennifer and Gandhi. Present. Thank you. Joanna Navarro. Present teacher. Thanks. Jorge Jose Pinoza. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Barrientos. Present teacher. Thanks. Jose Carlos Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thanks. Jose Isaías Portillo. Present teacher. Thanks. Karen Carvalho. Present. Thank you. Karen Mengiva. Present teacher. Thank you. Here Karen Renata Flores. I am here, teacher. Thanks. Carla Granados. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Patricia Rivera. Present. All right. Carla Rosa. Carla Sefa Rosa. Present. Thank you. Okay. No he mencionado a alguien, pero que si no me equivoco, Alberto. Ah, Alberto Espinosa. Ok, vamos a esperar a que se una. Por el momento voy a tomar una factura que estás ahorita. Please, everybody, sonríamos. Hmm, give me a second. Ok, one more time. All right. Give me a second. Okay, one more time. One, two, three. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. Let's see if it's going to be Okay, continue. Okay, we're talking about be going to remember. We use be going to for future plans and intentions. We're talking about the affirmative form right now. This is the affirmative form. Let's go to the negative form. We have a negative form. For the negative form, we use the same, the same structure, let's say, but we use not. Not is between the verb be and the auxiliary, which is going to. And the subject, plus the verb to be, plus not, plus going to, plus the verb, plus the complement. That is a negative form. And an example would be, she is not going to invite all her friends for the party. She is not going to invite all her friends for the party. We can use contractions in the negative form. We say is not, is not. We can say isn't, isn't. He isn't. He isn't going to invite all her friends for the party. That is the contraction, isn't. He isn't going to invite all the friends for the party. That is, a that is a negative form. Let's analyze the structure. What is the subject? She. 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 The subject is she. Sandra. She. What is the verb be? Is. 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 Isn't. Okay. Is, yeah, and we have not, right? Yeah, not. Not. And not, which is a negative form. I mean, the, the, the expression that tells us that we're using negative form, not. 
Then we have the auxiliary. What is the auxiliary? Going to. Going to. What is the verb? Invite. Invite. And then we have the complement, which is? All her friends to the party. All her friends <laughs> for the party. All her friends for the party. As you can for see, the for the party. As you can see, as someone asked me previously, can we use time expression? Do we have to use a time expression? Or do we always use a time expression? Mm, in some cases, no. In this case, we don't use it. It's not going to invite all the friends for the party. No, we don't have a time expression. Okay? We just have a compliment. Let's see another example. Another example is they are not going to go to El Boqueron on Saturday. They are not going to go to El Boqueron on Saturday. Okay? That is another example in negative form. They are not going to go to El Boqueron on Saturday. What is the subject? Hey. They. 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 The verb are, oh. are, are, are not. Are, are not. Are not. Yeah, we can use the contraction. The contraction for are, are not. Aren't. 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 They aren't going to go and book it on. What is auxiliary? Going to. Going to. Going to. What is the verb? To go. 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 To. Go. Go, go, to. To. go in this case. Go is a, a, a very base form. Then we have a complement, which is to book it on. To a book it on, on Saturday. On Saturday. To a book it on, on Saturday. What is the time expression? Saturday. 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 On Saturday. On Saturday. Saturday. What is some expression? Saturday. Okay. This is where we structure the negative form. Negative form. Who can give me an example? Who can give me a future plan that you have next for next week? Volunteers. Teacher, yeah. How do you ask? Oh, okay. That's a good question. Yeah, we're going to move on to the following part. I have the way we ask questions. Good. I want to know if you have questions about this part. Okay. Are they going? Are they going to? For example, let me see. Cesar, Elberto, what is the future plan that you have for next week? Tell me. Um, I am going to. I am going to. Uh, I am going to sing in the church. On Sunday. Oh, okay. I am going to sing a short Sunday. Okay. Okay. Here. What about see anybody else? Karen Renata Flores. Yes, what is the future, future plan that you have for next week? And I am going to stay in my home <laughs> okay. with my family. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, yes. that's, a, that's a plan, yes. I'm going to repeat. I'm going to. I am going, I am going to stay in stay my home. Yes. So with I'm my family. Stay home with my family. I am yes. Going to be 
Excellent. Okay. Let's go with Jose Isaias. What is the plan that you have for next week? I'm going to play football on Saturday. Okay. Good. Awesome. Okay. Tell me, what is a, a future plan that you have next week? I am going to dance on Friday. Oh, on Friday. On Friday. But again? On Friday. On Friday. Okay. Good. What about cutting Elisa? What is the future plan that you have for next week? I'm going to visit my grandmother uh, next week. Okay. All right. That's nice. Thank you. Stephanie Alejandra, what about you? What is the future plan that you have? Will you repeat, please? Yeah, what is a, what is a future plan that you have? I am going to... What is... Tiene algún, algún plan for a moment? What is a future plan? I am... I am going... I am... I am going to visit my family. Yeah. Um, Sunday. On Sunday. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Well, moving on to the following part. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Preguntas. Okay. Yes. Questions. Teacher. Yeah. Tell me. Eh, no sé si me escucha muy bien, pero como me está fallando un poco el internet, por yes, eso no me estoy va a salir y, y entrar. No worry, thank you for letting me know. Gracias por confirmar. Te escucho. Ok. Thank you. Ok, moving on. Let's go to the following part. Let's talk about how we structure or how we ask questions. We'll be going to. Don't forget the use. We have just no questions. questions. We want to ask someone about future plans, future plans or intention. How we can do it? How we can do it? Let's look at the structure. We want to ask questions. We have the following formula. At the beginning, we had the verb be. Plus, the subject, plus, Point to plus the verb plus a complement. And at the end, we close with a question. Remember? This is a question. It is essential to use it. It is essential to use it when you're constructing questions because it's a question, okay? It's a question. That's a question. Let me show you some examples and how we answer to those questions. For example, are you going to do anything next occasion? We have something that is called short answers because the form is called yes, no. Yes or no? Yes, no question. Are you going to do anything next occasion? You can say, Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm going to go to the beach. Or if you say no, no, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Someone said previously, I'm going to stay home. Okay. That is the way we respond to just the question. Are you going to do anything next occasion? Yes, I am. I am going to go. Or, no, I'm not. I'm going to stay home and spend time with my family. Okay? That is the way we construct the question. All right? Any questions about this part?
What is the verb be? Let's talk about the question. Are you going to do anything next vacation? What is the, the verb be? Are. Are. Are, yes. What is the subject? You. You. Then we have the auxiliary. You. What is the auxiliary? Going to. Going to. Going to. What is the verb? Do. Oh. Do. Do, yes. Do. What is, do. What is the coming? Do, exactly. Anything next vacation. Anything next vacation, that is a compliment. And we had the question mark. Okay. If I ask you, for example, let me see if all the participants. Cesar Martinez, are you going to do anything next vacation? Mm, yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. going to. Yeah, I'm going to go out with my girlfriend. Oh, okay. Good again. Please. Hey, yes, I am. I'm, I'm going to. Yeah, yes, I am. I'm going to go out with my girlfriend. Okay, yeah. That is nice. Thank you. What about Ana Francisca? Are you going to do anything next vacation? I'm going to the beach next week. Oh, okay. You're going to go to the beach next week. Remember, don't forget to respond at the beginning. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm going to go to the beach. Okay. okay. One more time. Are you going to do anything next vacation, San Francisco? I am, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am going to the beach next week. Good. Thank you. Okay. What about Jose Barrientos? Are you going to do any? Are you going to do anything next vacation? Jose Barrientos. Okay. Are you going to do anything next vacation, Jose Barrientos? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, I am going to go to the lake with my son. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. What about Betsy Flores? Thank you. Betsy Flores, are you going to do anything next vacation? Yes, I am. Going to, going to go to the beach. And oh. Sunday. Awesome. Thank you. What do you say? Are you going to do anything next vacation? Uh, no, I am not. Uh, I am going to stay home. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Good. What about Ernesto? Are you going to do anything next vacation? Yes, I am. I am going to to the beach with my friends next uh, on Resurrection Sunday. Oh, okay. Good, good. Thank you. What about Astapias? Are you going to do anything next vacation? Yes, I am. I am going to celebration to grandmother. Uh, her birthday? Yes. Oh, okay. Good. You're better for me. I'm going to celebrate. I go yeah. celebrate my grandmother's birthday. My grandmother birthday. 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 Awesome. Thank you. What about, what about Ivan, Patrice? Are you going to do anything next vacation? No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Okay. Nice. Okay. Let's go with Claudia. Claudia, are you going to do are you going to do anything next vacation? Yes, I am. I'm going to go to the church next week. Okay. Amazing. Thank you. Helena, okay. what are your things? Are you going to do anything next vacation?
en línea? Pero, es que, es que, es que. Sí, I'm going to go to the movie. Oh, awesome. Thank you. That's a ni nice plan. Okay. Mm. Thanks. Moving on to the following part. Let's see another question. You can have a different scenario. For example, if you ask, we have the same structure, remember? The verb be, object, going to, the verb, and the complement. Is Charlie going to come, going to come to the party next week? Is Charlie going to come to the party next week? You can say, remember your answers because we have different questions. Yes, I am. In this case, yes, he is or no, he isn't. The first option is, yes, he is. He is going to buy some drinks. Is Charlie going to come to the party next week? Yes, he is. He is going to buy some drinks. Or, no, he isn't. He is going to work next week. That is a way we can construct another question if you're going to. We're referring to somebody else, to another person. Because we're referring to Charlie. Is Charlie or is he going to come to the party next week? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Okay? That is the way we construct questions. We'll be going to. Any questions so far? Far so good? I want to check out. Dudas, comentarios. No question. We have another form when we're talking about questions. Yeah, because that is the first form. Yes, no questions. It's like a primera form. We want to see or no. We have other questions, remember. We have information questions. Or you can call them like WS questions. WS questions. For example, let me give you some examples. We can call them information questions. Okay, talking about the structure, we have the WH word plus the verb to be, plus the subject, plus going to, plus the verb, plus the complement. Okay? An example could be in, well, we have, like I said before, Different, different WH words. WH words. For example, we have what? What else? Do you remember? What? Uh, when? 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 Who? Where? Which? Where? Which? Where? How? Why? How? Why? Who? Why? Who? Why? We. Who? How? What time? What? Okay. Ten. What Those time? are WH words. Okay. Time. An example could be, what um, are you going to do next Saturday? What are you going to do next Saturday? These kind of questions are called information questions. Because as the name says, Excel, we have to, we want to provide or we want someone to provide us information, more information. So these are long answers. These are some preguntas con respuestas largas. Okay. For example, what are you going to do next Saturday? You can say, well, I am going to. And I'm going to travel to Guatemala next Saturday. 
This is a future plan and we're answering the question. What are you going to do next Saturday? I am going to, or I'm going to travel to Guatemala next Saturday. That is the way we ask information questions and we answer them. Okay. We're asking for an activity. What? What? So what is the answer? Travel to Guatemala. Guatemala. Next Saturday. That is the activity. That is activity. Another possibility, let me give you another example. Another example is you say, Where are you going to go? Um, let's say next vacation. Where? We're asking for places. Places. Okay. For example, I am going to let's say uh what the pick a lake. Lake next vacation. Where? So we're asking for the place where. And the answer is what the pick a lake. In this case, I'm sorry, the verb is go. Sorry, my bad. Go. Because this is the main verb. Go. Where are you going to go? Next vacation. I'm going to go to but the big lake next vacation. That is the way. We're asking for the place. And well, another possibility, the last example. Another example, it could be when. When are you going to change the question? When? When it is he going when to is he going to Italy? When is he going to travel to Italy? You can say he is going to travel to Italy. Italy. Next Italy. year. It's Next Italy. year. When, remember, when we use it for time. Time. We're asking for time. So the answer is next year. That is the answer. The way we ask for information questions. Cuando hacemos preguntas y estamos buscando más información. Okay. Questions about this? Everything yes, good? teacher. What, uh, why don't you use the, uh, the auxiliar uh, do or does? Oh. Good question, good question. It's because we're using the verb be. That is a, well, that is a, the, can I say this? It is not the auxiliary, it's not the auxiliary, but it's because of the structure, structure. Remember that the structure is WH where? The verb be, use a verb be, we don't use do or does, because do or does is for the simple present. Do and does is for the present simple. Para be going to, there is someone said prefer to be, prefer to be. And then we have the subject. The auxiliary, in this case is going to. The verb auxiliar or the auxiliar is going to. Okay, that's why we, we don't use do or that. Por eso no utilizamos do and that, porque do and that is para simple person. Okay. Okay. Questions, guys? Hago preguntas. Si hay dudas, hago preguntas. ¿Everything here? ¿Sí bien hasta acá? Sí, sí. 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 Sí, sí
Ya que dijo teacher, eso es una buena pregunta. <risa> teacher, este, going to lo consideramos entonces como que fuera tiempo progresivo. ¿No sabes la pregunta? El pro, progresivo tense. El going to. Going to. Going to es, es el auxiliar. Es el auxiliar. Es el auxiliar. Pero el, ¿Perdón? But we using what tense? Oh, simple future. Simple future. This is simple future. Simple future. Simple future. Y going to specifically. Thank you. Remember that we have with the simple future, we have will. Will, that is another auxiliary with the simple future. The simple future is divided in two parts. We have be going to and we have will. But right now we're focusing on be going to. El futuro simple está dividido en dos partes. Be going to and will. Entonces estamos hablando uh, be going to. But we, but we we use going to when we taking for for sure that action. But again, sorry. Cuando tomamos por, por hecho una acción. Una acción. Cuando lo damos por hecho. Mm, yeah, because it's a future plan. It's a future plan. Yeah. Que, que está asegurado. Exactly. Exactly. Or it could be an intention, an intention. It is something that probably you are, you are not certain, you're not sure. Cuando es una intención es porque no, tal vez no estamos tan seguros. Tan seguro. But it's a plan, it's a, let's say a plan in a way, but it's an intention. So I said at the beginning, I'm going to study, I remember, more, I think, or during the, the weekend. So that is an intention, okay? Because that can happen or not, okay? Yes. Perfect. Okay, moving on to the last part of our conversation. We're going to see how we use be going to in real scenarios, but in real context. Look at the conversation, Sean. Listen and practice with your classmates. Here we go. Okay, as you can see, we have the conversation between John and Lisa. They're asking for future plans because it's the key point too. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me, and then I will have some participants. You can see how with the conversation. Here we go. John and Lisa, listen. John from Adam. Are you going to do anything exciting this coming vacation? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Really? What is your birthday exactly? It's on April 2nd, Friday. So what are your plans? My friends are going to take me out for dinner next Tuesday. Amazing. Are your relatives going to have a party for you? I guess so. I'm not sure. I think it is a surprise. That is the way we use going to in a real scenario, real context. Okay. Any questions about the conversation? Okay, on the conversation. Okay. I need two volunteers. Volunteers. Two volunteers. Teacher. Okay, Karen Flores and Carla Rivera. And then we have some other participants. Don't worry. Don't, don't lower your hand, please. Keep it there. I will go with Carla, right? Car Carla Flores, if I'm not mistaken, and Carla Rivera. Karen, right? Karen Flores. Please let me know. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go. Um, Karen, you will be John, and Karen Rivera, you will be Lisa. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Action. Are you going to do anything exciting this coming vacation? 
Well, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Really? When is your birthday exactly? It is on every second Friday. So what are your plans? My friends are going to take my out or, or for dine and net twice day. Amazing. Are your relatives, relatives going to have a party for you? I guess so. I'm not sure. I've seen it um, separate. Awesome. Teacher, uh, repeat the word relatives. 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 What, what do you pronounce? What? Relatives. 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 One time, relatives. Okay. Here. Let's continue. Let's go with Sesto Martinez and Carla Granados, I think, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Sesto, you will be John. Carla, you will be Lisa. Okay. Let's begin. One, two, three. Okay. Are you going to do anything exciting this coming vacation? Well, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Really? When is your birthday exactly? It's on April 2nd, Friday. So what are your plans? My friends are going to take me out for dinner next week. Amazing. Are your relatives going to have a party for you? I guess so. I'm not sure. I think it is a surprise. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate. Let's continue. Let's go with two more participants. I have Ernesto Garcia. I need somebody else. Come on, you can do it. Adios. Okay, nice. Excellent. Okay, listen. Okay. Uh, Ernesto, you will be John. And Jose yeah. Carlos, you will be this, okay? Let's okay. Go the Let's go on the three. One, two, three. Action. Are you going to do anything exciting this coming vacation? Well, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Really? When is your birthday exactly? It's on April 2nd, Friday. So, what are your plans? Uh, my friends are going to take me out for dinner next Tuesday. Amazing. Are your relatives going to have a party for you? I guess so. I am not sure. I think it is a surprise. Nice. Hello. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Okay, two more participants. Two more volunteers. Your teacher. Okay. Mm, Joanna, right? Joanna and Ana Francisca. With me. Yes. Okay. Ana Francisca, you will be the first person in the conversation. John and Joanna, you will be the Let's go. Okay. One, two, three. Are you going to do anything exciting this coming vacation? Well, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Really? When is your birthday? Exactly. It's on April 2nd, Friday. So, what are your friends? Friend. My friends are going to take me out for dinner next Tuesday. Amazing. Are your relatives going to have a party for you? I guess so. I am not sure. I think it's a surprise. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Perfect. Two more volunteers. Do I have two more volunteers? Very good. I have Eliana. I need somebody else. Volunteers? Excellent. Carla Rosa. Okay, let's go. Let me see. Eliana, you will start the conversation. You will be John and Anna, you will be Lisa. Okay, let's get ready. One, two, three. Go ahead. Are you going to do anything exciting this coming vacation? Well, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Really? When is your birthday exactly? 
It's on April 2nd, Friday. So what are your plans? My friends are going to take my out for dinner next Thursday. Amazing. Are your relatives going to have a party for you? I guess so. I am not sure. I think it is a surprise. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Carla, repeat it for me. I guess so. I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. Again, with another word. Dinner. 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 Yes. All right. And well, I will have the last participants. The car replacement. I have Elena. I saw that she raised her hand. And I need another participant. Very good. Jose Carlos Rodriguez, right? Okay. Excellent. Okay. Jose, you will be John. And Elena, you will be Lisa. Ready? One, Ready. two, three. Action. Are you going to do anything exceeding that coming vacation? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Really? When is your birthday exactly? It's on April 2nd, Friday. So, what are your plans? My friends are going to take me out for dinner next Thursday. Amazing. Are your rel relatives going to have a party for you? I guess so. I am not sure. I think I think it's a it is. surprise. It is a surprise. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Okay, better for me. Exciting. 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 Yeah. Next, this coming vacation. This coming vacation. This coming vacation. This okay. coming vacation. Yes. Thank you. Well, yeah. everybody, questions? Let's clarify doubts. Questions? Doubts? Comments? Teacher. I have a question. Sure. What is the pronunci pronunciation? Um, uh, amazing, uh, oh, amazing, amazing, uh, amazing, amazing. Oh. amazing, amazing, okay, amazing, okay. amazing, amazing, yes, amazing, very good, thank you, you're welcome, thank you for asking too, um, I think Cesar, Ariana, you have a question, okay, I have only a doubt, Sure. In this in this case, it is possible to answer the questions first with the complement of the sentence. For example, uh, the uh, the next Saturday, I going to play soccer. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. You have the time expression at the at the beginning, right? Hmm. Yes. Yeah, you can. You can, you can, you can have at the beginning the, the thumb expression. Next Saturday, next Saturday, I'm going to repeat again the, the, the example. I go, I going to, I'm going to play soccer. Yeah, you can, you can. That is correct. Okay, okay. Uh, we tend to, some people tend to place uh, the thumb expression at the beginning, or it can be at the end. At the beginning or at the end. Most of the times we use it at the at the end. Casi siempre, bueno, siempre lo utilizamos al final. However, you can use it at the beginning. Next Saturday, next week, next vacation, tomorrow, the following year, soon, etc. You can, yes. Right. What else? Question? Preguntas? Teacher. Okay. Tell me, tell me. Don't worry, tell me. Um, is, there, is there class tomorrow? Okay, good question. That's a good question. Eso es lo que, le, lo que quería decir eso ahorita. Antes de que alguien que tenga otra pregunta con respecto al tema, lo que vimos ahora. Uh, bueno, me adelanto a eso. 
Recuerden que ahora, bueno, las la clases o las sesiones son de lunes a jueves. Es que mañana no, no tenemos, es libre para ustedes. Y recuerden que la próxima semana es martes. Reanudamos el próximo lunes 6, creo que es lunes, lunes 6 de abril. Reanudamos, así que ese día vamos a reanudar. Dígame. dijo que el martes 6, creo. Martes, ¿verdad? Pues, perdón, uh -huh. yo creo que tenía mal la fecha. Lunes el 5. Lunes el 5. Exacto, martes, martes. Perdón, tenía mal la fecha yo. Sí, es martes. Thank you. Ok, iniciamos martes 6 de abril. Y pues la próxima semana es martes. ¿Preguntas? ¿Dudas? Questions? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, thanks. Con referente a la plataforma, eh, ¿hasta qué ejercicio tenemos que llegar o qué sesión para que el martes que 6 de abril que continuemos con usted? Eh, ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que haber avanzado en la plataforma? Buena pregunta. Quería mostrarles ahorita si gustan, si me dan un par de, sur, de minutos, dan de su tiempo. Qué valioso. Ok, cuando entramos a la, a la plataforma, recordemos, empezamos, ya estamos familiarizados. Con respecto a la plataforma, lo, como les comentaba ayer, recuerden que ustedes pueden ir avanzando, pueden ir avanzando y no hay ningún problema. Si ustedes adelantan, por ejemplo, y se van a la, a la sección, ¿qué? Es? Sección 2, por ejemplo. Vamos a la sección 2 y ya vamos por la, ¿qué? Sección... 2.5, no hay ningún problema si avanzamos. Si avanzamos más, va a ser mejor, pero recuerden que vamos a estar viendo los contenidos en acciones. Es que vamos a ir reforzando. Si adelantamos, pues vamos a reforzar en la sesión. Si tenemos alguna duda que encontramos en algún ejercicio, lo vamos a poder aclarar en la sesión. Igual, si tienen algún problema con respecto a la plataforma, un ejercicio, por ejemplo, digamos, me voy a ir a, a ese ejercicio de la sección 1.4. Si ustedes completan, por ejemplo, escuchamos el audio, completamos los ejercicios, le damos a enviar y tuvimos alguna mala, por ejemplo, podemos volver a hacerlo. Podemos volver a hacer, damos el audio, si gustamos, completamos y damos a enviar. Si tenemos todo completo, todo en orden, seguimos, seguimos. Pero si tenemos algún problema, me avisa. Intentamos varias, de varias formas las respuestas, las escribimos y lo mismo, salió mala, avísenme. Como les dije al inicio, denme cálculo de pantalla, si es posible, para yo verificar. Voy a verificar en la plataforma primero. Si el problema ya es de la plataforma, lo voy a ver. Es que. Algo que les recomiendo a todos es que seamos cuidadosos en cuanto, en este caso, pues son opciones múltiples. Son opciones múltiples, no hay ningún problema. Pero en caso algún ejercicio sea de, de escribir o de digitar, debemos de ser cuidadosos con la, cómo, cómo redactamos. Es decir, si vamos a escribir una oración, recordemos, iniciamos con mayúscula, continuamos las dos minúsculas. Y al final utilizamos ya sea puntos de oración, una pregunta, no de pregunta en ese caso. ¿okay? Debemos de ser cuidadosos con ese aspecto. Porque si no le agregamos un punto, por ejemplo, no, no le va a tomar como malo. ¿okay? Esas son las recomendaciones que les podría dar a todos para que tengamos en mente. Con respecto a la plataforma, podemos ir avanzando. Le avanzamos hasta la sección 2, por ejemplo. En una ocasión, yo sé que. No vamos a descansar, ya sé. Eh, yo sé que tiene bastante trabajo, así es que no hay ningún problema. Podemos renovar hasta que regresemos de vacación. Pero si avanzamos y decidimos avanzar, podemos ir avanzando. Podemos ir avanzando y si tenemos dudas, podemos ir escribiendo en un cuaderno, por ejemplo. Voy a dar esa sección de esa palabra. Lo voy a preguntar cuando veamos eso. Voy a hacer eso, ¿ok? Es que no, no, no se preocupen, pueden ir avanzando y si terminan, pues va a ser 
pues bueno, digamos se mantenía el 80% recuerdo, no, 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 y la asistencia también. Es que, si aclaro su duda. ¿Qué es teacher? Thank you. Por cierto, lo último. Um, espero que hayamos enviado el formulario. En que ahora se les envió, no me equivoco. Y le, tenemos que haberlo enviado, ¿ok? Respecto al que era un comprobante de manual. Que todos lo enviaron. ¿Sí? Teacher. Decía que hasta el sábado se podía. A más tarde. Hasta el sábado. Ok. Ok, perfecto. No se preocupe entonces. No estaba tanto es... de, la, de la fecha, pensé que hasta ahora tenía. Por eh... WhatsApp se envió. Ok. Perfecto. Gracias por, por la aclaración. Y pues tenemos hasta el sábado. No lo hemos enviado. Hay tiempo todavía. Bueno, no sé si alguien más tiene alguna duda, alguna pregunta, comentario. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody. Well, this is the last session for this week. We will continue next Tuesday, April 6th, with uh, the module in this case, of course. Please, everybody, have a good, good vacation. Happy holidays. And we will continue next Tuesday. Okay, stay safe. Please stay safe. Remember that we have the pandemic. We have the virus, the virus is around us. We have to take care of ourselves and our family members. Okay? Stay safe, take care a lot. God bless you, and I will see you next Tuesday. Enjoy your vacations, okay? See you soon. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. 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 Happy vacation. Happy vacation too. Happy holidays. Bye bye. 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 B